Hey everyone and welcome back to r slash pro revenge the subreddit where people get expert revenge on those who have wronged them today's post get me fired say goodbye to your bonus and promotion this happened a good long while ago I was in high school and got a job at one of the big box stores in the computer department this store chain had an in-house technician department which was always where I wanted to go. After busting my ass in sales for two years, putting up with rude customers, silly rules, and all the other glorious trappings of retail job, I finally got a chance to be, quote, promoted to the technician department. It was not as glamorous as I thought it would be. I quickly found out that most of the repairs consisted of running the prepackaged antivirus suite updating windows and doing data backups prior to wiping computers clean and reinstalling them. I always liked tinkering with hardware more, but since 80% of customers had laptops and those repairs were deemed too complicated by corporate, we would just send the laptops out to get repaired by the third party vendor. It was still better than sales by a long shot, and we had a great team working in the technician area except for one dude. Let's call him Mike. He always behaved like his crap smelled like roses. He was technically a lead technician, and even though that just meant he had a little more authority, he had access to a corporate account to arrange shipments of computers to and from our store, he was acting like he was the manager of the department. Nevertheless, our actual manager was a splendid dude that took care of us, and as such, Mike's douchery did not bother any of us that much. Fast forward a little, and our awesome manager found a much better job. This opened up a spot for manager, and since the whole store supervision was going through a shakeup, the general manager was fired for embezzlement, and all the people he hired, 90% of managers, were under review. This led to everybody trying their hardest not to fuck up, and the new GM decided that since our department was one of the best in the district, he would not try to hire an outsider, but would promote from within. Now, Mike was working at this store for almost 10 years at that point, and a couple of people that started working with him as sales associates were, by this point, managers and assistant managers. One of them, Brittany, was an assistant manager in charge of customer services and checkout. One of the conditions for Mike's official promotion to manager was to keep the number one spot in the district performance-wise. One of the key metrics was the rejection rate from our third-party vendor. If we mistakenly sent them a software problem to fix, they would charge us extra. Mike started obsessing about the numbers, especially when it came to the rejection rate. He insisted that we would spend extra time to confirm issues, even when there were recalls from manufacturers for these items. I hated this bureaucracy since it meant that people needed to wait almost the maximum allowed time to get their computers back. So a few times, I skipped the extra diagnostics when I knew for sure the problem was hardware. One day, Mike decided to do an audit on all outgoing machines and found out that I've sent four units skipping his extra checks. He told me that he would write me up for it, but when he tried, GM told him that he is not a manager yet and I have shown to the GM that I followed the corporate procedure in diagnosing these units. I thought that was the end of this, but I was sorely mistaken. Mike hated that I showed the GM that Mike's procedure was inefficient and that he was denied power over me. About a month later, I got a call from Mike asking if I could come to the store on my day off because there was an issue with a customer. When I came in, I was greeted by Mike with a shit-eating grin, and he told me to wait in the back and not to work on any computers. After about an hour, Mike and Brittany come in and ask me to head to the front office. They started an official write-up process and claimed that I have made a mistake creating a backup of customers' data and have placed a DVD with no data on it into the box that was returned to the customer and then wiped his PC clean. I knew that it was bullshit since I always copy the data to an external hard drive, run antivirus to make sure that nothing bad got copied, and then burn DVDs. Yet, 
When I asked to check the external hard drive, Mike said that due to my negligence, I was not allowed back in the tech area. He went to check the hard drive and said there was nothing on it. At that point, I knew he was bullshitting, but him and Brittany were hell-bent on completing the write-up. I've asked for a senior management to be present and was shot down again. Turns out the GM was on vacation. They completed the write-up and told me that due to the egregious error that cost the company tens of thousands of dollars, I was not allowed to work in the tech room and I would be relegated back to the sales floor. I told them to shove it and submitted my resignation on the spot. I later found out that a week later they gave the customer the data that was on the hard drive all this time. Mike simply erased the DVDs. I grabbed a DVD RW, a rewritable DVD by mistake for that backup, and waited for the customer to come back and complain. I have also called the corporate HR line and told them what happened. They said that since I quit with a letter of resignation, they would not launch an investigation, but they have received and recorded my complaint. Through luck and the fact that I was a good hardware tech, I landed a job at a shop that did hardware repairs a week later and started in another week. Turns out this depot was the service center that covered the entire district and they had the master contract with the big box chain where I worked. Since I have worked as the tech in that store, I was more than familiar with their labeling and ticketing system. For tracking purposes, the label included the store and technician number. After a couple of weeks, I gathered some goodwill at my new job and started trading the units with my colleagues to work on as many units from my old store as possible. Over the next three months, I made sure that every single unit sent in by Mike would come back with an extra charge. Also, it turned out that Mike, since he was in charge of shipping, would sometimes steal other technicians' tickets to boost his personal performance numbers to secure that manager promotion. Well, that bit him in the ass hard. There was one week in particular when he sent in over 15 units out of 20 to get fixed, and 15 units came back with extra software charge. I have also kept detailed records that proved that Mike did not follow his own policy of extra checks. When the performance figures came out for that quarter, the store crashed into fifth place from number one. Mike missed out on his promotion and a big bonus that was promised to him. A good buddy of mine from the store got the manager position a few months after that, and I explained to him how to reduce the number of, quote, software charges to almost zero, so he looked like a superstar. Mike was first relocated to lead technician, then he was either let go or he quit, I'm not sure. Last I heard, he started his own mobile technician business that folded after a year. What I didn't know is that this whole incident with Mike fucking up led the GM to review everything Mike did, including my write-up and dismissal. As it turns out, they did not even register the write-up since I quit on the spot and buried it. The only way the GM was able to find it is because of the HR complaint that was filed against both Mike and Brittany. The GM was not pleased that they went behind his back to get rid of someone, and he fired Brittany. He was a very decent man who called me later that day and apologized, and even offered me my old job back. I thanked him, but I was making more money at the new place and did not have to deal with customers. So I passed. So that's it for the post, guys. I gotta say, uh, having worked myself previously, I used to work in cell phone sales, uh, and I've been in the tech industry for a very long time. This is my least favorite kind of person to work with, this Mike type of character where they just are cutthroat, will do anything, stab people in the back, lie, cheat to win commissions, to get metrics, to move up in the company. You see it all the time in this industry and I never understood it. It was never me and I always just like, a lot of these guys like hide, you know, they, they're camouflaged. They act like normal, nice guys on the outside, but there's this just awful person underneath. And it really, really is satisfying to see them get what's coming to them here and to see uh, this turn out in favor of the OP. So we hope you enjoyed the post. As always, if you liked this post, leave a like or a comment to contribute to the discussion down below. It always helps us out a lot. And if you'd like to see more and hear more posts from r slash pro revenge 
and other subreddits in the future, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and for listening.